Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Oh, having some more of the coffee with the uh, pour over filter. Love it. Oh. <clears throat> good stuff. Good stuff. Well, uh, like I said, welcome to Coffee in the Word, where it's uh, God's Word and a cup of Joe. Uh, this morning, we're going to start off with uh, Psalm, a reading from Psalm 31, and then we're going to Isaiah, and then we have a reading in uh, Hebrews. So, <clears throat> here we go. Psalm 31, verses 9 through 16. So, here we go. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye is wasted from grief, my soul and my body also. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones waste away. Because of all my adversaries, I have become a reproach, especially to my neighbors, and an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have been forgotten like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel, for I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from my persecutors. Make your face shine on your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. All right. All right get a little more coffee here. Oh, that's good. Not quite as strong as I like it, but eh, it's all right. This is a, an old uh, beer stein that my, my father made. I've had this one for, oh, I don't know how long. I've had it since high school, so love it. All right, uh, the Old Testament lesson this morning. Isaiah 53, verses 10 uh, through 12. So, Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him. He has put on, put on him to grief when his soul makes an offering for guilt. He shall see his offspring. He shall prolong his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Out of the anguish of his soul he shall see and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the many, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and makes intercession for the transgressors. All right. Uh, the New Testament lesson. Let me get a little more of this. My throat's a little dry this morning. All right. Uh, the next, uh, um, the New Testament. We're going to Hebrews chapter 2, verses 1 through 9. So here we go. Therefore, we must pay much closer attention to what we have he heard, lest we drift away from it. For since the message declared by angels proved to be reliable, and every transgression or disobedience received a just retribu retribution, how shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? It was declared at first by the Lord, and it was attested to us by those who heard, while God also bore witness by signs and wonders, and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to His will. For it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. It has also been testified somewhere. What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little <clears throat> you made him for a little while lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor, putting everything in subjection under his feet. Now in putting everything in subjection to him, he left nothing outside his control, 
At present, we do not yet see everything in subjection to him. But we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. Amen. All right. We'll go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. And, uh, oh, there it went right by it. Okay. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you sent your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to take upon himself our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Mercifully grant that we may follow the example of his great humility and patience and be made partakers of his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, <clears throat> I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.